All right, guys, so here's what I picked up from that crazy garage sale in the middle of the afternoon. Hey guys, so glad you're here. Thank you for watching this video. Before we get into it, if you're new or if you're uh, unfamiliar with this kind of content, my channel, Chase After the Right Price, is a reselling channel with a heavy emphasis on video games and nostalgia and stuff like that. And my goal is to teach and help enable you to be able to either increase your side hustle or, you know, if you're full time, jump into that. So, I really appreciate you being here. If you're into that kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get the notifications, and let's jump right into this thing. Good morning. Hi. I'm Chase. I'm here for the, okay. the games. Oh Double checking <laughs> your, uh, your car. Yeah, sure. I figured I'd update you because I was like, oh crap, I'm like, taking a different car. <laughs> it's like craziness. Yeah. People won't stop. It's like, okay. Yeah, I had my garage sale last week and I sold a bunch of video games and sent like 30 or 40 messages and just people are looking for them. It's crazy. Wow. So there's. You take your GoPro everywhere? I do. Yeah, I got like a YouTube channel looking for old games. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. I try to make videos and do that whole thing. So. Yeah. I'll give you the 125. Mm -hmm. Sam Howell? <laughs> like. Game Boy or DS or anything I, like that? No, they were... Or... It was... Maybe you weren't getting rid of those. I'm not sure what you're talking about. They were the handheld ones that were... They were like taller. Oh, oh yes. They're over on that table. Oh, like the little, those kind? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Three dollars. I might, I might grab those. I'm going to look at these ball cards here. I'll do those too. Sweet, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> yes, there are. Okay. I have a couple Yep. <laughs> okay. Are you selling the calculators or using them? I am selling them. Okay. I don't know if they work. I mean, I this one seems to work. My batteries in them. I'm just going to have my husband take a look at them. But... Okay. I'd probably only be interested in this one. <laughs> How much did you want for this? Let me make sure it looks good here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Sure. Yeah. I'll take that as well. All right, guys. So hopefully that footage showed up okay. I messaged a garage sale on Facebook yesterday agreed to a deal on the video games they had in their sale at 75 bucks and then somebody else messaged that sale and offered 120 and they told me that <laughs> and this was already we have already accepted a deal after we already accepted a deal and uh, I didn't want to pay more but I did still want the stuff so I basically just told them I'll do 125 if you just mark them as sold and put my name on them but I don't want to do a bidding war and they said okay so I got it for 125 which I'm still very happy about. Uh, the thing is, all I knew was that there was a Dreamcast, but I didn't really know what else. I guess I don't need my seatbelt right now. So this is what you could obviously see, the Dreamcast in the minty fresh box. They said it had been in the box for 15 years, just sitting in a closet. And it looks like it comes with... Just the system, no controllers. <laughs> uh, but it does have the cords, and the good thing is I have like literally 25 extra Dreamcast controllers and like seven VMUs right now. So that's okay. And then there was a stack of games in front of the system, but you couldn't even zoom in on the picture or see what they were. And so this is the part that I was completely blind on, and I was just hoping that there would be good stuff 
and this is unrelated roller coaster tycoon it looks like a pc expansion pack but there was also a stack of other games which i could not tell what they were and i wanted those as well but we sports that's great did not know that was in there and then it looks like some xbox games need for speed hot pursuit 2 and project gotham racing 2 i'll have to make sure they're in there and then we've got The Sims on PC, GTA San Andreas, Test Drive, Geometry Wars Galaxies, and Tiger Woods 07. So nothing much there. Keep in mind, I paid up for this stuff at 125 So the hope is that there'd be some good games in these Dreamcast games. And thankfully we got this one, Mortal Kombat Gold. That's awesome. NCA 2K2, nothing really there. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's like a smash pack, decent. NFL 2K1. And it's looking like everything is complete and in great shape. I'm just checking to make sure the discs are in there. Those ones all are. Let's see what else we got. Conflict Zone. Don't know if that one is expensive, but it could be. Uh, Midway Arcade's Greatest Hits Volume 2. NHL 2K2, you got Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness, NBA 2K1, so definitely a lot of sports games. That is not what I was hoping for as far as games go. But also got Baseball 2K1, Test Drive, V-Rally, Crazy Taxi, Rainbow Six, 18-Wheeler, Qbert, and Extreme Sports. So that's everything. Uh, I'll have to add that up, see what the value is. I know Mortal Kombat's probably the best game. Conflict Zone could be pretty decent. And then, of course, Wii Sports is a solid 25 bucks right now. Sorry. But the system in the original box, Minty Fresh, might honestly be pretty close to the money back. Dreamcasts are pretty high, and I think I could get probably 150 ish on eBay. And then after fees, we're looking at about 125 um, as long as it works. So, yeah, I had to pay up, but I'll take it. A uh, great deal. And then a TI-86 calculator they also had. I paid 5 bucks for that. So hopefully everything works and it pans out well. But I'm going to keep sailing. Let's do it. I have no idea what this is worth, but I paid the dollar. It's a Justin Bieber card with a, like, concert-used piece of his vest or something. So... Who knows, but for one dollar I grabbed it. Just picked up all this stuff for 180 bucks. <laughs> Had to pay up quite a lot. Got the games on an ask, but she didn't have them in the sale because she knew they were worth something. So I'll show you guys a detailed pickup later, and hopefully I'm gonna do well on this stuff. Just paid seven bucks for this. It's got the little guy in the remote. Basically compete, but has some chewed up missiles. I don't know, I haven't even looked it up. It's Imagine X Power Rangers, something or other. But it works. And seven bucks seems like a good deal. So just made a couple scores. Got this camera bundle for 25. It's my Nolta Maxim 7000, but it has some lenses. Everything in the original boxes. Super clean. Seems like a great deal at 25 bucks. And then asked for games. And they brought out these, which I paid 40 for. Some PS3 games, they didn't have the system, but we got Smash Brawl, We Play, and then there's also Mario Kart. Everything in there, and the system, no remotes, but 40 bucks is a great deal. And I'll show you guys those other games. So, these books I paid 30 for, and I think I'm going to do really well on those. They're uh, value tale books. Those could be worth up to 150 And then these games were on an ask. And she had already looked them all up and wanted 150 bucks and would not come off of it, so I ended up paying it. And I'm ho hoping some of these Commodore 64 games are good. But I got a good feeling about it. Star Ranger, Solar Fox, Omega Race. You got Speed Bingo Math, Visible Solar System, Dragon's Den, Sea Wolf. This one sounds interesting. Centipede, Agent Voyage. Radar Rat Race, Cubert probably pretty decent, and Wizard of War. And then all of these Nintendo games. 
including Paperboy, Tecmo Bowl, Contra, Kung Fu, Pro Wrestling, Super Mario Bros, Gyromite, Ghosts and Goblins. This one is Metroid and Zelda and Kid Icarus. So some of the early Nintendo games, lots of black label, but excellent condition across the board. 150 bucks. All right, and probably my last score of the day, a full box of Thomas trains. <laughs> so Thomas, I've gotten a few times this year for 20 bucks. So I think that'll do pretty well. Probably just lot them up and we'll see what happens. So that Power Rangers Imaginex item was Dragonzord. I ended up finding that out with a little bit of research and discovered that that was a great buy. So there's a sold listing, a very similar one with the remote and the figure for 70 bucks plus 20 in shipping. I paid seven. The other cool thing is just the remote sold for $43 uh, by itself, free shipping. So $7, no brainer. It was just a hunch buy, but I had a pretty good feeling about it and it worked out great. So $7, we'll call it potential value of 60 since a couple of the missiles are a little bit chewed up, but still that's an excellent score. This sale just popped up on Craigslist. Got a notification, I'm the first one here. It said PlayStation and Xbox. And all of this stuff has been brought out. He's looking for more action figures right now. But there's a lot of stuff. And he wants 200 bucks, which is uh, pretty good. Games, games, games. Well, sometimes one more sale leads to a crazy amount of stuff. Insane, guys. 200 bucks. I filled four bins. I actually bought the bins and so that I could keep things neat, which is a lot better. Uh, but there's just a crazy amount of stuff. The thing is, a lot of it needs a, a deep cleaning. Um, I got the HeroScape. Well, hopefully that's not broken. I got the HeroScape game thrown in, which he was going to have five bucks on. Uh, this is a guy that just clears out estates and storage lockers, and he just had so many games. 
sorry for the shaky camera but uh wow i don't so you saw there's illusion of gaia complete in box earthworm gym 2 complete in box there's mario sunshine disc only animal crossing couple GameCubes, couple SNESs, N64, Xbox 360, original Xbox, PS2, all systems, and a bunch of other random games. The thing is, a lot of them have just random discs inside of them, but it kind of appears like the right discs are there, just in all sorts of different cases. But 200 bucks is amazing. Um, I also got, so the bins were 12 bucks for the four of them, and then I picked up some classic automob automobile magazines for eight bucks a whole bunch of them and I got enough that's probably a hundred bucks worth so this is insane um, I'll show you guys everything in detail if I can um, but little quick tip I only knew I got home I was done with sailing and then I checked my email just in case there's any more and 11 minutes from my house one popped up on Craigslist with Xbox and PlayStation so I said okay I'll go check it out this is what happened so the tip is, download the Craigslist app, it might be called CPRO or Craigslist, set up alerts and notifications for keywords, and put them in your area, in the garage sales section of it, and you'll get notified when certain things, certain sales with the keyword comes. So Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, anything you can think of that you're interested in. And that's how it happened. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's what I picked up from that crazy garage sale in the middle of the afternoon, but I was the first customer because I saw the Craigslist post and went immediately, so make sure to set up your Craigslist Pro app with notifications for keywords like Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, Game Boy, Sega, etc., because that is how this happened. The entire table here, plus these automobile books, oh, no, no, not plus those, Plus this HeroScape game back there, that was the throw-in. 200 bucks. So, pretty amazing. Um, so I'll just kind of go down the line and point out some of the best games. You got Mega Man X Command Mission, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, um, Resident Evil 4 is down there, uh, God of War, Naruto, and then if you go towards the bottom, I added this case because I had an extra case, but this disc only is in there. Def Jam Fight for New York. That game is super high right now. I don't know if it has been for a while, but it's like over $100 for complete and maybe even for the disc only. So that's insane. Look out for that one. And then there's some Genesis games, some more PS2 games, a lot of not the best stuff. The Mario Strikers is not in there. Donkey Konga was disc only, but we... Had an extra case for that as well. Completed that. Then tie the Tasmanian Tiger and a few others. Then you got a bunch of memory cards, different things, transfer pack, the Waybird receiver, and we also have the Waybird up yonder. Uh, unfortunately, the Game Boy player disc was not in the case. I got excited when I saw that. Let's see how many gigs the 360 is. Looks like a four gigabyte, no hard drive. Um, but then there was this GameCube case right here, and it has Animal Crossing, Mario Sunshine, and Battalion Wars. And then there's the Animal Crossing memory card. So that's awesome. Then you've got a couple Game Boys up there, Xbox controller, N64 controller. And then these six button controllers for Super Nintendo. So that's kind of interesting. Don't know if those are worth anything. And this Comanche Gold PC game. A couple original Xboxes. N64 with expansion pack. Uh, and then there's a Final Fantasy VIII guide and some PlayStation magazines under there. More controllers. Two Super Nintendos. 360 Connect. Some empty cases. Some loose discs. Including Need for Speed Underground 2 on GameCube. And then we've got... A bunch of SNES games, including Final Fantasy III, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Rocco's Modern Life, Earthworm Jim, Mario World, Mystic Quest down here. So some pretty good games there. And then some complete SNES games. Chuck Rock just has the boxing game, but Caesar's Palace is complete, Zool's complete, uh, Super Tennis is right here, and Young Merlin right here, both with manuals. 
and then Dungeon Master with manual. Uh, this game, Revolution something complete. Illusion of Gaia is in near mint condition and complete. Just awesome shape. Earthworm Gym 2, unfortunately, no cartridge, but it does have all the paperwork and the box. And then Shanghai and Quirk box and manual only. So all that, 200 bucks. Gotta love it. Uh, it was It's dirty. It's barn fresh. Uh, me and David just went through, cleaned all of these cords and stuff that are, that are in this tub because they're all dirty. But we got them all cleaned up, bundled up nice. And the systems we cleaned a little bit. And I want to show you guys, I talk about some of those games had extra cases that I added to them. So this is kind of my my shelf for those cases. Um, basically the ones right down here are games that would be worth selling and I have a case but no disc. Just happens through the years you get empty cases. And it's really nice when you find like Def Jam Fight for New York and can come over grab the case and then you got yourself a complete game. So I love that we have these shelves by each other now, the room to complete games. I also keep cheapies up here that have really super clean cases that I can replace out with an expensive game. And then there's all of my, you know, games to complete like a Wii Fit Plus board or Guitar Hero, guitar, got all those, Connect Adventures, like to keep those on hand. I'd love it if there were 30 or 40 Wii Sports in there, but I don't really have any right now. So. Yeah, that's kind of what that is, and it definitely helps if you guys can keep some extra cases on hand like that. If you got the space for it, I recommend it. Uh, but yeah, 200 bucks for that stuff. Huge potential value. Um, gonna take a lot of work, but man, very excited about that score. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out to the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.